Hi, have you ever wondered how encryption works? The word encryption is tossed around everywhere, on the internet, everywhere, right? Security, encryption, this is what people say. But encryption is actually really cool, you know? Encryption, how encryption works is that you can meet a stranger in a public place and share information securely without knowing the stranger, right? It's a stranger, you've never met them and you're sharing information without any code word. If you ever heard of the word cryptography, cryptography works by having a code word set up beforehand, right? You know exactly how to scramble the information and unscramble it. But with encryption, public key encryption, in fact, you meet someone for the first time in a public environment, everyone can hear and see what you're doing, but you still manage to set up a code word without anyone else knowing how that works. So let's talk about how that works and let's talk about how we can do the same using an example of paint. So I'm gonna explain the process using paint colors. Uh, firstly, for encryption to work, me and the other person, so the two people, right, have to select a private color. So I'll tell the person, okay, select your own private color, don't tell anyone about it and keep it to yourself. So the public doesn't know, but I don't know the other person's private color either, right? It's a private color. So here's an example of a flowchart with the two private colors selected. Simple. The next thing is we're gonna select a, a common color, like a shared color. This is a public color and everyone's gonna hear it. Imagine I tell the other person, okay, I picked the color yellow, right? The whole public is gonna know. The only way for me to tell the other person is for the whole public to know, right? So I tell the person, okay, I've picked the color yellow. So now both of us have our own private colors that's unique to us we, and no one knows about it and the shared color, right? What we're going to do is we're going to mix these colors, right? We're going to take, uh, I'm going to take some of my private color, I'm going to take that uh, public color and I'm going to mix it and the other person is going to do the exact same thing. So we both have mixed our personal colors and the shared color together and we're going to share the new color, right? So imagine my personal color was A his personal color was B and a common color was C. My like new mixture would be AC, which is personal uh, color and public color. And his combination would be BC, B being the personal color and C being, you know, the common color. So now we have this and we've shared this with the public. So the public knows, you know, what the shared color is and what the mixtures are of the shared color with the private color for both of us. And I know his mixture and he knows my mixture, right? So we know each other's mixture. What we're gonna do next is the real secret to encryption. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our personal color, our private color with the other person's mixture, right? So I'm gonna take his mixture of his personal color and the public color and mix that with my private color. And he's gonna do the same thing, right? He's gonna take my mixture of my personal color and my public color and he's gonna mix it, mix it with his private color. And what we get is we actually get the same paint color now because now in this new mixture that we have created this mixture is not going to be shared by the way it's a personal mixture this is our code if you see the flow chart here remember i was talking about abc you can see that the colors that we have created are now identical and the beautiful thing is the public cannot create this combination themselves in fact here's a chart of all the publicly available information that we have shared Right? Remember, anything we share between each other, the public can hear everything, right? Back in war times, uh, imagine we're using telegraph or some sort of like radio communications. Everyone could hear what you're saying, right? Uh, so how do you share information secretly when everyone can hear what you're saying without setting up a key beforehand? This is how you do it. This is the public. This is what the public knows. And look at the number of combinations. They can try to create the same paint. But if they do mix it, what's going to happen is they're going to have a little bit of extra of one color in, in all the combinations and they won't be able to get the exact same combination. So this is great. This is paint, right? You might be wondering, okay, how does paint relate to the internet? The internet can't be using paint colors when they send information. That's, that's, too, that's too weird, right? What, what the internet does in encryption, modern encryption, how it works is that they use multiplication. In fact, they usually, they usually have some complex equations that do you know squaring uh, and do like multiplication about multiplication but imagine this right let's take the number 60 the number 60 can be created by multiplying the number 2 and 30 so 2 times 30 is 60 the number 3 times 20 is also 60 the numbers 1 times 60 is also 60 we know the number 60 but we don't know what numbers have created it you know it's like paint we don't know if the the paint which is the numbers 2 and 30 have made the 60 
or if the numbers 3 and 20 have made the 60 or if the numbers maybe even 15 and 4 right 15 times 4 is also 60 there's so many different combinations of numbers that can make 60 same thing with paint right there's so many different combinations of colors that can make that one paint color that the person can't really tell what your private color was and he can't create that same code right if he wants to try guessing he can try guessing all these combinations with the number 60 there are only about a few different uh, combinations right there's 15 and 4 uh, there's 15 times 4 there's 2 times 30 3 times 20 60 times 1 and a couple others uh, but there are a few different combinations so it's very easy to guess which one's right you can just play the guessing game but in modern encryption on the internet they use huge numbers with thousands about millions of um, different combinations so it's very 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 hard to guess what number it is that's why encryption is so secure and the beautiful thing about it is i don't have to know the person from before we don't have to have a common you know code word or a secret thing we can just meet on the internet publicly meet for the very first time in the public and create a secure connection without ever having met before so yeah that's encryption if you want more details uh, i've written a full detailed article uh, which can be found in the description. Do check that out. Thanks.